Well, hello there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like Wawa, I would appreciate it, like, and subscribe. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $175 dollars you can do that by liking subscribing and entering blessing but as always scorpio if you're doing well for yourself let's allow this for the scorpio family members here who could use that extra money but everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour facetime reading by liking subscribing and entering reading mm. i hope you're all doing well vibe and hat and living your best Monday life. We're going to get a seven day forecast. I haven't been doing the seven day because I do the daily, but we are having a eclipse on the 14th. So with that being said, it is an annular eclipse. It is rare. It has to be when the new, the sun and the moon will line up during the new moon cycle, which will allow you to see just a ring of of the sun very beautiful um, I am hoping to get a, a glimpse at it around the eclipse you can start to feel a lot of release if you're feeling really overly emotional or you're feeling like you're starting to come to some places in your mind that you're realizing there are some things that need to be given up or a person that you need to release um, and you're feeling really emotional about it, it is very beneficial to release those emotions. You may want to do a release ritual. You may just Google eclipse ritual. You'll find hundreds of thousands of different releases you can do on the day of the eclipse if you're struggling with letting go of some things, Scorp. A lot of big changes coming here for you all a lot of big changes coming for the better but remember um, look at your life like a dresser drawer if you have a bunch of old shit in there from 20 years ago that you don't wear that's outdated that's ripped that's that's you know you, you don't use it anymore and you're still hanging on to it well you can't fit anything else in that drawer it's like the drawer is stuffed you can't even get it closed anymore and so you don't have any room in your life for new um and and there are some things that need to be released this would be a good week to go around and declutter your house declutter your emails your cell get rid of old um text messages old things from people get rid of old energy in your home do a release ritual write everything out that you would like to release scorpio start now start journaling now every day Re what else what other thing would you like to work on releasing um, that can go for material things as well as mental things that you think about yeah breakthrough brainstorming here a revolution uranus energy um there could be something unexpected that comes up this week involving a sagittarius for some of you you could have you could be a scorpio sag cuspers like my daughter i have my daughter is a scorpio sag cusp her birthday is november 23rd um for some of you though very enthusiastic this week about something and just allowing just um allowing things to fall away finding a lot of clarity a lot of intuition there could be some tempers raised this week so be mindful of that um for some of you you're having a lot of breakthroughs and you're you're about to start experimenting with life traveling taking some risk here a very experimental energy you may be feeling um over the course of the next seven days tell me about the next seven days for my babes please kindness the vessel my talents skills hobbies and relationships passions and strengths are things that define me and abundance money is abundant and i only have to seek it with confidence walking forth into my future i will do the work and the money shall come for some of you spirits letting you know something you put in the work and you will receive some abundance if if you put in your effort if you put in effort and you will manifest some new money 
Um, I can spend or save money how I see fit. See, Spirit's letting you know to work hard here and to don't not get into a lack mindset. See, sometimes people think if they they save all of their money, they don't spend any money, they 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 are really um you know good about not spending any money they don't go out they don't have fun they never buy themselves something that they just want and desire um and and they you know they feel like that is is a good strategy but unfortunately that's that's sending a signal out saying that i don't have enough money and i gotta hang on to the money i have it's like your body and calories think about it your body when you when you don't eat sometimes you your your body stores those calories and so what you're doing is is you're actually halting making more money than you actually have spending money um, in a healthy way is actually beneficial when you pay for something when you buy something um, don't get in your head about it Just tell yourself I'll get I'll, I'll, I'll get it back I, I'm gonna spend this money because I make money I'll make money money will come into me easily and freely I'm not gonna hang on to every dime I have and not buy myself anything or not enjoy life um, because what you're actually doing is creating some blockages spirit saying if you work hard if you have the extra money buy yourself something nice for some of you, um, you work very hard. and Maybe money's a little tight. Take $20 a week, only 20. Take that 20 and go buy yourself something at, at, at the thrift store. Go around, go do things like that and, and feel good about spending it. When you're, when you're constantly afraid to spend money, that you're just going to get more of that back. You see what I mean? It's hard to explain. I'm not saying go out and just, you know, spend your whole paycheck and tell yourself, oh, I'll get it back. Don't be irresponsible. For those who have the extra money, if you're hoarding it and you're not enjoying your life and you're just hoarding on to the money, you're actually um, creating blockages. Spirit wants you to, to enjoy yourself in the next seven days. Somebody could be very kind to you. You could be feeling very kind and maybe give a homeless person some money or give uh, a friend, loan a friend some money. A lot about finances over the next seven days, but you unlocking doors here, opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden, finding solutions, access to previously closed doors. This is what the this is what the eclipse will is going to do for some of you. If you start releasing the things that no longer serve you, Scorpio, you're going to um, be able to find solutions here and bring in new things or possibly have a job call you that maybe you were like there were it was you and two other people and they chose somebody else and um, now they're calling you back and saying Scorpio are you still interested in that job accessing things that you thought was closed in your life. Bored with your daily routine, wanting more out of life, longing for change, and constrained by circumstances. Oh, bless your heart. Over the next seven days, for some of you, you may feel a little bored, a little blah. I want more than this. Is this really what I want? Is this the kind of life I really want? But you're 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 constrained with um, not having a babysitter, or constrained by finances, or something like this. Um, if you're longing for change, it's for a reason, sweetheart. The divine is giving you a message that it's most likely time to let go of some old things and start doing things differently. Um, nothing changes until something changes, and that change has got to be you, love. Luck, good fortune, positive change, fulfilled wishes, unexpected happiness. You see, you see, you see a lot of unexpected happiness coming in for you in the next seven days, Scorpio. Something, like I said, unexpected could be coming up, but you you seem to be in the midst of a crossroads here, faced with decisions, facing possibilities in life here, um, trying to, to decide, decide what way you should go. Should I stay here and do the same old thing or should I move forward? Should I choose that lover or this? Should I go on this vacation or that? Should I go and, and start a new career because I'm longing for change or should I not? For some of you, you're faced with a lot of crossroads right now and it's going to be important that you stay grounded and, and in a positive mindset. Tell me, Spirit, what can my babies expect over the course of the next seven days? Good news, good news, good news. 
and abundance. I claim spirit, messages, text, phone call. Someone has something to say, needing to communicate clearly, be open to listen. I think for some of you, you're going to get a job opportunity or you're going to be asked out on a date. Someone's going to text you and shoot their shot. For some of you, maybe this is somebody you've been waiting to talk to from your past. We're going to clarify, but there's been a lot of obstacles. Something's been blocked for your highest good. Time to do things differently, not able to make progress. Sweetheart, if you have found yourself in this category, of Scorpios that have not made any progress, that are, is bored, that is scraping pennies, that is just not in a great place, it's time to do things differently. And by doing that, you will have some abundance arrive here. An arrival of abundance, money flows easily, rewards for your efforts and financial blessings. For a lot of you, you have been through it. Life has tested you. It's been test after test. And really what it has been is the Holy Spirit trying to get you to do things differently. So if you've been running into a lot of blockages or everything feels hard, I have been there. I, I had a job once. I think I've told you this before. I swear to God, I had this old truck at the time. It was right after I lost my business and um, I had to buy this this old truck because I couldn't pay for my car payment anymore and so um it wouldn't start it, it never failed I would get up I would be ready I couldn't get it to start it would go dead at the at when I was getting gas or um then I had a flat tire and then this happened and then that happened and the place I was working at the people were horrific they were um really really toxic the management would gossip and like give you the dirty looks it was just uh if it wasn't for a, a group of girls that I meant there I wouldn't have been able to survive the divine was screaming at me this job is not for you I mean I'm not joking in one week I think I I was late three times um it, it was constant and I knew they were going to fire me because I was not it was it was terrible it was really terrible I was just it was one thing after the next um my car broke down on my lunch break once I didn't get back for like an hour later Oh boy, it was always something. And if those things are happening to you, number one, it's because you're in a low vibration. And I was probably vibrating at the lowest point of my life. Number two, the divine is trying to say, Scorpio, this isn't for you. There's enormous obstacles because um, you, are, you are being called to go in a different direction. So what is that direction? And that is what you're going to be faced with this week. Tell me first, Spirit, <clears throat> what is this um, obstacle or blockage in, in Scorp's life? Four of Cups here, you failing to recognize the magical opportunities around you, distracted by daily life, you're discontent, you're bored, and you're lost in your own world. Wake up. You see? Spirit is, is speaking, y'all. Some of you are sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. And, and feeling rejected and there is no need to because the wheel is here. You're being guided to move in a new direction, a fresh new start, the end of delays, sudden unexpected progress, very positive change in your life, a new vehicle, perhaps travel, a new home, a new lover. There is no need to be sitting here in the Four of Cups energy, bored, discontent, sad. Um, if somebody rejected you, it is because they were supposed to. Think about it. Was that relationship even going well? Or are you just romanticizing it now? Were you even happy or were you constantly begging them to love you? For some of you, you have to have that conversation with yourself because you're sitting in the Four of Cups here. The Divine is saying, Scorpio, 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 look, look at me, look at me, look at me. And you're just sitting here. I'm so, I can't handle it. I'm so tired. I'm so sad. I'm so, and you're not seeing all the magical opportunities around you, love. So this week, make sure you go out of your way to be very honest with yourself. What am I even waiting for?
What, what am I sad about reject, being rejected for? Maybe this rejection was your protection because most likely that relationship was not going very well or that job was a shit show. And so um, if you look at it from your higher self, you'll be able to make more progress. You have something brand new coming in for you. What is this good news here? Abundance coming in. Somebody seems to have something to say to you, Scorpio, that has ghosted you. Um, hermit energy here could be a Virgo. It's definitely a lover. Somebody has something to say. There's somebody that wants to come in. They have they have spent time alone. They have been seeking um, answers. You have been seeking answers. Um, it, they have something to say to you. This could have been somebody that you were in a long-term relationship with at one point, or this was somebody that you were working towards that. There was another lover ch um, chose for some. For some of you, this isn't a past person. This is a brand new lover. Embrace the true, deep love. Intimate friendship. Make choices from the heart. Scorpio, for some of you, you have good news coming in about your health as well. If you've been having some test run or, or what have you over the course of the next seven days, you're, you're about to have some really good news come in. Somebody here could have really curly hair. I'm also hearing KM. KM. Does that mean something? KM, I'm not sure. With that being said, good news coming in for you and, and the things that were blocked out of your life, you may start realizing why. For a lot of you, you're going to have some epiphanies here. The divine has been trying to speak, give you some messages. We have abundance twice, financial blessings coming in, Scorpio. Your life is, is, is headed in a very beautiful direction. You just have to get out of this discontent energy. Think about it on a bigger scale. Look at it from a higher, your higher self. Was I even that happy or is it that I want to win? Is it that it's normal what I'm used to? Um, what is the reason I am waiting for a toxic person who cheats, lies, and leaves me? There's a lot of, there's a lot of answers that you will find within your soul if you really ask yourself those hard questions, sweetheart. Moving on here to love. Tell me about love in the next seven days, please. What's coming towards Scorpio in love for the next seven days, spirit? Be careful of me. Don't you know what you're doing? It's feelings that you're hurting and bruising. You can something world. Be careful of me, Cardi B. Soul contract, somebody here that you possibly have a contract with coming in, brand new energy, I feel for some of you. I definitely feel this is a new lover for some of you could meet someone new, um, but there's someone that's been stuck, trapped, tied up in their mind, not being able to speak very complex, complicated situation you have been in with somebody. Both of you um, are constantly on and off and then, um, at, you know, you both feel like you can't let one another, one another go, but nobody's making any changes. You're getting back together and doing the same thing you did and, and getting the, the, the same results. Um, for some of you, you have a brand new soul contract coming in. There's someone you have a contract with and you're going to realize why this past lover was uh, blocked out of your life because you're going to meet somebody and it's going to go so well. You're going to realize why everything happened the way it did. For some of you, you may have gotten fired. You're going to have good news about a new job come in and you're going to love that job and you're going to say, I now understand why that happened. Um, there's someone that's been bit two-faced here, Scorpio, in your love life. This person tells you one thing, tells others something else. They've been running, avoiding you in a lot of regret. It looks to me like they've ghosted, they fell off, they stopped communicating with you. They've been soul searching here about some things. Heartbroken, they know they broke your heart, they've been living a lie. Wow, sorrow, remorse here, living a lie. This person broke their own heart. They broke their own heart with what they've done. They feel a lot of sorrow, a lot of remorse. They're living in this damn lie that they feel like um, I, this is somebody here who does things because they want to fit in or they, they do things that, you know, they want to look a certain way. That they're, they could be staying in a relationship because they're too worried about what it would look like. They could be doing a whole lot of things, living this lie, trying to live in this persona. 
Tell me about the lie, the living a lie, please, spirit. <clears throat> they deal with low self-esteem, but they're a pathological liar. Messages coming in. Scorpio, if you were in a physically abusive relationship, please see yourself out of it. I do have the domestic violence hotline for those in the U.S. in the description. Reach out to somebody. Even going through um, psychological uh, things. It's like psych psychological warfare when you're living with a gaslighter and a pathological liar. For some of you, therapy would be so beneficial. It really, really would. Just to hear yourself say some things sometimes, just to hear yourself speak some of the things that you've tolerated or went through can be very eye-opening. Somebody here will, um, could have been very controlling, anger, when they get angry, very scary, low self-esteem. And again, we have living a double life here. I've never, my guides pointed that I've never seen that keyword on this oracle, even though I've used them uh, hundreds of times. This person seems to be living a damn lie. They lie about even small things, but they lie to boost their ego. They have an obsessive personality here. They, they really have low self-esteem. We could be dealing with a narcissist here. This person's a love bomber. Love bombing messages coming in, ready to speak their mind. Unexpected messages in the next seven days. For some, you may hear from this person, but it doesn't look good. They seem to be overindulging. They have some selfish desires. They may want to come in and be intimate with you. Um, Scorpio, they may need something from you, but they what they need the most is your love and your validation. This person likes to be validated. Tell me why they're living this double life. They could be they could have a whole family and and run around and act like they don't. Yeah, they're juggling two of Pentacles energy. Um, they're and 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 the fool here. This person's a dreamer. They're, they're always acting foolish. They're always out here uh, jumping off the cliff, doing things they shouldn't do. Y'all could have been married and they had a full-blown double life with somebody else for some of you. For some of you, you've been in a long-term affair with this person. Um, this is somebody who also lies about how much money they make or how much money they have. They could be actually drowning in debt, barely able to pay the bills, but they're out here flossing. What do they have to say to Scorpio? ego oh my god they're in their devil energy here an illusion being trapped accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support the path of happiness addictions and unhealthy habits this person doesn't want to um take ownership for what they've done they want to come in here four of wands energy this this could be somebody you have a soul contract with this person wants to come in here and and speak about your commitment about your relationship or or in some way but they're in their ego really bad they're in their ego right now so they're going to come in not accept responsibility say they ghosted you because you said a b and c or you did something or you could have found out a lie caught them in a lie and they've ghosted you and they're going to come in and try to avoid talking about what really happened they're avoiding you they've been running why are they stuck why do they feel like they're stuck because something came out, the sun, that's why. Something was illuminated. Um, it's unfounded fear, nine of swords energy. They're not sleeping. They're expecting the worst here. Um, there's been sleepless nights. For some of you, you're picking up on this person's energy. You're not sleeping well either. Seven of wands here. This person could have blocked you. Or um, the, you stood up for yourself. Spirit saying, choose your battles wisely. If you're dealing with a narcissist and this was an abusive relationship, have a text message ready. Do not respond or copy, paste, send the message. Don't give this person an inch. They will literally weasel their way back in your life. And before you know it, you will be sitting here left and rejected again. For some of you, you have to see this clearly. This person is, is a pathological liar. They're, they overindulge. I, I, I believe in redemption. I believe in change, but not when you're in this kind of energy. This isn't somebody that's changed. This isn't somebody who even 
feels like they have to change. They feel a lot of remorse for, for, for some of you, unfortunately, I'm sorry. They only feel remorse that they got caught. You, you found out something. You could have found out about their double life. Somebody else could have found out about their double life if you were having an affair with them. Whatever the case is, I do feel they have some remorse for what they've done. For some of you, this person said a lot of mean things. They got really angry and, and started to really, uh, they flipped out on you. They, they lost their mind. You've seen a side of them that you didn't realize was there. I don't want to have conflict with you. I'm not trying to play games. I'm just conflicted in my mind about how to proceed. I didn't expect to have such strong feelings for you. I didn't know what to do with those feelings and I acted immaturely. I know this. This causes me stress. I don't know what to do about it. Once again, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Conflicted in their mind. This person um, knows they acted immaturely. They know that they may have had some um, violent outburst. The reason why they haven't been reaching out is because they don't know what to say. They were caught red-handed or whatever happened between the two of you was, was a blow up and they don't want to take ownership. People who don't want to take ownership will know, they won't know what to say. How about sorry? How about accepting responsibility? I know I did A, B, and C and, and, I, and I really, really regret it and not doing it again. That, that is what redemption is. Not coming in, avoiding it, passing blame on you for their bad behavior, and then just repeating the same old story. Tell me, Spirit, what is the projected outcome? <clears throat> well, Scorpio, uh, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, it's the end. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, the opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an addiction, working too hard, working too many hours, need, the, need balance in your life. Um, mental health here, um, really, really poor. This person's mental health is really poor. But 1010, 10, angel number 1010, 10, it's a wrap. It's over. It's a wrap. This, this situation needs to end here, Scorpio. This person, Nine of Cups, is very, very selfish. Um, you are going to go through a significant life change here. You are going to go through a powerful um, change where you are releasing old belief systems and rewards will come for your hard work here. Rewards will come if you move away from this person. Um, yes, they want to reach out and yes, they may reach out this week, but they're coming in, in in a really poor energy. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords energy. This is someone who carries a lot of pain a lot of pain around and I and I feel for them I do but they are a pathological liar they are still overindulging and and it looks to me like for most of you the projected outcome is is for you to move forward it's a wrap put a fork in it I'm done I'm finally done I've completed this soul contract I'm on my way out for some of you you have a brand new lover coming in tell me about this lover Tell me about this new lover spirit, this new soul contract for those Scorpios who want to move forward. Yeah, it seems like um, you're not sure. You're not sure if you're ready to date. You're a little worried because kids could be involved here. But this new soul contract, very compatible. Oh, my God. I love it. What did I say? I just knew it. A new love interest moving forward quickly here, being swept off your feet. Something better than you thought, love. Somebody better than you thought, very compatible. Somebody that you'll start doing everything with, wanting to go everywhere with, like just being swept away up in love. You may have a new love offer coming in in the next seven days. If not in the next seven days, we're all in different timelines very soon. But please do not get in your mind and start trying to, um, you know, 
<clears throat> don't get wrapped up in your mind. You're either ready to move forward with a new lover or you're not. You, you know, if, if this past lover comes back, if you're not ready to deny them, don't start dating someone new and then bleed all over them because you've decided to go back to this past person. For those Scorpios that are ready to move forward, this new lover is going to be better than you thought, really. It's a new love interest coming in. You have a soul contract and you have free will to decide whatever you want here. You can stay with this past person or you can move on forward. You can't do both without karma because you will end up hurting this new person. It's a big message. Somebody here could have really curly hair. Tell me, Spirit, what is the final messages that we can give Scorpio? baby luna just woke up good morning baby luna it's time to take action new moon in aries and like i said the the um eclipse new moon energy believe in the impossible blue moon energy and a personal issue will re resolve itself full moon in cancer you may be dealing with a cancer or an aries there is a lot of cancer energy um fire here uh, scorpionic energy here cancer here um, but believe in the impossible love. You can release and let go. It's time to take action. It's time to move on forward. What is the message that we have for my babies? Good morning, baby Luna. <laughs> She's so cute. Think first before you judge. Number 26. For some of you, you may um, prejudge this new lover. I'm just getting a, a, a hit here. You may feel like this isn't somebody that you would be interested in or there's something about them that, that may not be like your usual type. And Spirit's asking you to think first. Did you commit to uplifting one? Oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. To one sister only to drop them down on their head? Exam, examine the situation. Is it is the judgment justified or is society tricking you into your stance? After all, it does have a habit of making you believe that other girls are your competition and that they must behave perf perfectly at all times. Step that back and take the time to figure it out. It's not always clear at first. Instead of acting rashly. See, the divine is asking you to not make decisions too quickly. Um... Don't just jump back into a relationship with this past person if they reach out. Don't just jump into a relationship with a new person because they're interested. Think about it. Take time. Take your time so you don't do something and commit to something and then think, why the hell did I do this? Um, for some of you, that may be what happens with this past person. You get wrapped up in that fun feeling, that, that, that dopamine rush, and then all of a sudden, you're right back into what you worked so hard to get out of, right? So... I love y'all. Have a beautiful and blessed Monday. Going to be the best Monday of our life. Best Monday ever. Love and light.